have to write one for your niece. You want to start singing?
Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Millbrae City Council on December 13, 2016. I'd like to take roll call, please. All council members are present. Thank you. And at this time, I'd like to do the Pledge of Allegiance. And if we could have that led by our Millbrae Youth Chamber, Michael Chan, Sarah Chang, Audrey Kim, and Eric Ding. Would you please come up? Congratulations. Come on up, guys. Come on. Don't be shy. You guys earned it. I know it wasn't practiced. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much. Beautiful job. Thank you so much. Madam Mayor. Yes. Um, I just wanted to say a few words about this chamber. They uh, do a lot of uh, pro bono work. They volunteer to play at all different events. Um, and I'm just uh, very, very proud of these young people. They're very, I know, known them for a lot of their lives. And they're go-getters. Go um, and they're, they're a great example of the youth in our community. And I'd like to congratulate all of you. And especially, Michael, I understand you're going to Yale, which is very, very exciting. <laughs> Milbury, this is the Milbury Youth Chamber. Milbury Youth Chamber. Thank you, Councilmember. Beautiful job, and we thank you very much for being here tonight. Along with a lot of other people in this audience that are here tonight that have served our city, um, I am not, I apologize if you're a unforgiven or offended that I don't say thank you for all the past mayors and city council members that are in the audience. Um, be, there is also a lot of mentors out there too. So a lot of the people that I, I'm looking out to see are those that um, actually have touched me with uh, the ability to be able to sit up here and give some comments before I turn the gavel over. So with that being said, I want to uh, share a short story. I did not get elected the first time around to our council. I missed it by 17 votes, and I was beaten out by my friend, Robert Gottschalk. At that time, I ran with my father by my side, guiding me each day and even knocking on doors every Sunday afternoons asking for my support. When my father died a few months later, I had no idea how much I would miss him, especially when I was unable to share small victories, such as my next run for council, which I won. Although I was not able to rely on my dad's daily dose of enthusiasm to help me achieve my goals for the city, I have had the great support of my Millbury City Council, a unique council where many have inspiring parents who also serve the public. Our parents raised us to make a difference by serving in the best interest of all. Wayne's father, unofficial mayor of Chinatown in San Francisco. Gina Pappin's father is a legend in Sacramento. And our new Mayor Rubin is a product of two parents that instilled the spirit of service in him. Like many of you, your city council members have been raised to achieve through service. Together, this year, I feel we have made many achievements. For our gifted staff, we have many accomplishments, numerous and lists of accomplishments. As council, we've achieved a list of great things. I ran for council to address a few major issues that our community told me were most important to them. First, our public safety. Our community cannot blossom if we live in the darkness of insecurity. With community outreach and tactful actions, actions from our sheriffs, there have been several arrests. 
Some of your council members hosted neighborhood awareness meetings. My husband and I had about 40 neighbors to our home. And with the sheriff's guiding light, we all learned how to make a neighborhood safer. My second mandate from the community was to enhance our downtown. I would love to stroll with everybody sometime. I and about 20 residents, including council members, school trustees, committee members, and citizens knocked on each business door's owner's door and asked them to clean up and care for our downtown. From our clean sweep, our staff, with council direction, gave Hillcrest and Magnolia a huge facelift. Thank you, business owners, who answered our call and made Operation Clean Sweep such a success. I did not run into the next major issue that had to be addressed, but it is definitely became a priority to all of us and our citizens. This year, we all experienced the burning of our community center, a most important building to our citizens and located in the center of our city. It was a terrible way to be reminded how people in Milbrae use that center. And thankfully, nobody was injured. The community rallied, turning out for community meetings to share their ideas for a new center and showing support by coming out for our 5K fun run. As the meetings and the run show, we're going to make this fun. Doing this right, doing this right is going to be, require patience from everyone outside and diligence from professionals on the inside. While today we may not see anything too visual on the outside happening right now, inside our city hall, we have many professionals that are working towards whatever the citizens of Milbrae will decide they want. We should, we should celebrate our accomplishments and let us not forget there's much to achieve. We have many developments on the table, businesses to attract, downtown to maintain, and a mountain more to scale. One of the lessons I learned by watching my dad build a business was that you need to set strategic goals and stay focused on those fundamental few without being distracted by those who only complain. Of course, we need to hear about the growing pains Millbrae residents feel. Every city has obstacles, challenges, and roadblocks. But my dad would be saddened as I by the vicious attacks and the negativity that boils over into our social media, such as that next door neighbor. Ladies and gentlemen, if ever there was a time when a community needs to come together, it's now. We are a city on diversity, religion, religion, sexualities, and politics. Let's be this shining beacon on a hill, glowing in the true meaning of community, common unity. I will close by inviting everyone to be positive and productive. Be a proud Millbrae citizen that offers positive solutions to change. As a realtor would say, we are changing title. I leave you now in the hands of your new mayor, who I know will be a great success. I wish my dad were here, but perhaps he's looking down like you're dearly departed, smiling as we come together, glowing and growing. And I thank you all so very much for this year. See, Mom, I told you to come. <laughs> okay. So with that, where's my gift? <laughs> it jerked us. We have a little something for uh, Mayor Oliva. 
my last day here in office. Thank you for such a wonderful year, and I really enjoyed serving with you. Um, you accomplished so much here in Millbrae, and I look forward to continuing to work with you um, for years to come. And Ruben, the, 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 it goes both ways. It was a thank pleasure you. with you as well, and everybody here. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you. At this time, I would like to uh, declare nominations open for the um, office. Before we do that, okay. We, we'd like to also. At the, at the end, okay. At the end. Okay. I I like to nominate uh, for mayor. Wait a minute. Are we are we going on the agenda? Are we? Who's in charge here? <laughs> Whoever wants to be. Oh yeah, we have we skipped right, over that whole goes. thing. Is that a DB nine? <laughs> I wasn't going to open in front of all these eyeballs. But while, while you're opening that, we'll go out of order here. Um, Madam Mayor, yes, you've, as everyone noticed, um, Annie is well known for her optimism. <laughs> and I compliment you on really what you've done as mayor, bringing people together, building uh, alliances, coalitions, and really trying to work for the best and our community as a whole. You've done an outstanding job. Governance is not always easy, as many of you know, um, dealing with a lot of tough issues this go around, whether you wanted them or not. Um, but you did an outstanding job. And um, it's been a pleasure working with you. I can look forward to continuing working with you and also with our new mayor. Um, thank you very much for your service. And I'm sure Bob Marshall is looking down. Um, you had to bring tears to our eyes. Your, your, hu your husband and I were just kind of, you know. Um, but thank you very much. You're welcome. It's a pleasure working with you. This is amazing. It's a little gavel with a little A on it. <laughs> and just, just for the fun part, when my dad ran for mayor, he gave this to my mother when he won. So this will... Will be tra traded off. Thank you so much. Yeah. In the interest of time, I'm going to uh, make ahead. my comments. <laughs> so, uh, you know, um, Mayor Oliva, I have to admire that uh, the fact that you're an optimist and that uh, there is no mountain that cannot be climbed, there are no obstacles that cannot be overcome. Um, and you've always been a very congeal and polite person. And it's not to say that uh, I agree with you in every, in every aspect, but at the end of the day, I always enjoy having a glass of wine with you. <laughs> <laughs> so even, even, even the times I, th I thought that you threw me under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> that wine was strategic. <laughs> <laughs> But I, you know, I, I still, I, I think that's the testament of, um, of council members is that you recognize that it's, uh, we, we, we advocate for our principles. Wow. 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 I think we've got to fill that up. Wow. 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 Beautiful. Beautiful. We, we advocate for our, our principles, but at the end of the day, we respect each other for our, um, our love for our community for what we're trying to do for our community. Um, and the fact that you know, everybody has an opinion, and my opinion, I recognize, is, can be wrong often. So you know, it's hard to, recon it's hard to, uh, to say, but you know. But <laughs> <laughs> and I just you know, I admire the fact that when the, when the meetings got really contentious and they got long, that you were able to move it along uh, regardless. You were able to come and say, hey, this is, let's focus on this. Let's get down to the facts. Let's not let's not keep going around the table, um, and let's let's move this along, whether we agreed on the principles or not. Um, and I thought that's a a very unique skill that uh, can only come through somebody who has a lot of uh, experience and who has a lot of confidence in themselves to be able to stand up to very strong personalities um, in this council. And uh, often, I think that. Uh, like I said, at the end of the day, the fact that we're able to, to have a drink together at the end, it means the most to me is that I have a friend 
uh, who's, who's, uh, who values my opinion. Thanks. You have a friend. <laughs> Thank you, Wayne. <laughs> okay, so at this time, shall we open up the nominations for the office of mayor? Madam Mayor, I'd like to. Uh, um, sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm very happy to nominate Vice President Mayor Do we have a second? I think I'll do it. I did second it myself. Take a vote. Okay. Yeah. You got to be fast off the draw here on the motions. I pressed my button. Did you vote, Ruth? I did. <laughs> we'll get that. And the vote is unanimous. Oh, well, well, well. You got to. You got to take the oath. Take the oath first. You don't get to gavel until you take the oath. <laughs> Sorry, you have to wait a few more seconds. <laughs> Almost there. And who, who's swearing in? Um, Mayor. Johnson. Amy Johnson. Amy Johnson, uh, uh, Ruben's uh, fian lucky fiance, or I just say Ruben's lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Hello? Hello? Okay. So, please raise your right hand. I. I. Ruben Holliber. Ruben Holliber. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear truth, faith, and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which I am about to enter. Upon which I am about to enter. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, thank you, uh, and thank you, Amy, for being here to uh, administer the oath of office and for everything that you do for me every day and always being there. I'm so lucky to have you. Um, I'd like to acknowledge some of my family in the audience. Uh, my father, Richard, is here. Um, uh, my grandmother, Laura. Uh, my aunt, uh, Lydia, is here, came up from L.A., uh, my uncle John <laughs> and my aunt Heidi also is here and uh, some of my future in-laws are here as well um, Amy's mother Pat is here uh, her brother Paul uh, her brother Noah and and his wife, Amina. Again, thank you all for joining us this evening and being a part of the Millbrae tradition of passing on the torch of leadership to the incoming mayor. First, I'd like to thank outgoing Mayor Oliva for her service and for her kind words about me. Annie is one of those people that sees the good in the world and does everything she can to fuel the fires of hope, joy, and goodwill. Her dedication to the community 
and optimism for the future of Millbrae are contagious. Her work to revitalize our downtown and leadership on the Operation Clean Sweep helped make our downtown truly a better place. A good part of that success was because of the pride Annie has for our community. She doesn't just talk about it. She actually puts in the hours of work to build personal relationships and get people on board with her causes. That pride and optimism for our community is what made it successful. Her forward-looking approach and enthusiasm have been a great example to me, and I'm truly grateful for all that she has done for our city. So thank you once again, Annie. I'd like to thank the people of Millbrae for having the confidence in me to serve as a member of the City Council and for now giving me the opportunity to serve as mayor. This is a role that I accept with great humility and pride. Humility because I know that I have to be humble in what I say and what I do and humble in taking the time to truly understand the voices and needs of our community. But to complement that humility is pride in being a public servant. Many times, we hear people disparage public servants. Sometimes, it's because of an underlying dissatisfaction with the way that they see things. But I believe that there's a great honor in being a public servant and playing a role in making our community better. In my capacity, I see how great our city is, and I see how much greater our city can become. In taking the role as of mayor, I promise to do my best to help us get there. But like Annie said, we don't do it alone. Regardless of the issues that we agree on or disagree, everyone on our council is smart and thoughtful about the issues and policies that we make decisions on. We have a very talented team, and I've enjoyed working with each and every one of you. Thank you. I look forward to working with every council member over the next year. Only together can we help to make our city prosper. This coming year, I have more than a few things that I would like to achieve as mayor. The community center is still first on everyone's mind. It's important to acknowledge that it won't be rebuilt in one year, but we are putting plans in place to build a center that we can all be proud of. But the vision of the community will be an extremely important as we decide what we want. Over the coming months, the city will be hosting community center workshops to understand what the community wants. I encourage everyone to take part in these meetings to share their thoughts, desires, and concerns. We may not get everything that we discuss, but we can get a modern facility that meets Milbrae's needs if we're willing to invest the time, energy, and resources to get it. Because Milbrae is located in one of the leading high-tech centers of the world, we are afforded many opportunities that other cities are not. Recently, we put out a request for proposal to bring fiber optic internet access to Millbrae. As consumer and commercial demands for faster and more reliable internet access increase, responsibility falls on us to plan and prepare for future needs. The high spe internet speeds that fiber optic provides will be a great benefit to residents and businesses alike. Importantly, it will position Millbrae as an easy choice, convenient alternative to San Francisco and Silicon Valley for new and growing businesses. In addition to fiber optics, we have recently updated the Millbrae Station Area Specific Plan to help our, improve our economy and support development in the city. Millbrae's intermodal station is uniquely positioned our city as the transit hub of the entire Bay Area. It's the only single point where regional travelers can use to get anywhere in the Bay Area and the world. We need to use that market advantage to our benefit. We also need to understand that the land use decisions we make today will have a large impact on generations to come. The Millbrae Station will be a compact, walkable, transit-oriented area that will create a strong and stable revenue base for our city. While the first phase of these projects won't be complete until after my service of mayor is over, I'm committed to helping ensure that mixed-use developments will not only meet some of our housing needs, but provide great opportunities for local entrepreneurs and job seekers. In addition to the Millbrae Station, I'm committed to ensuring our vital infrastructure is maintained and modernized. 
We have a bottom-up policy in Millbrae. That means that if we fix water and sewer lines, we also fix the roads. We're building a robust capital improvement plan to repave our roads and repair aging water and sewer lines over the next five years. This is important to me because it's important to the quality of life for everyone who lives and works in Millbrae. I've seen cities throughout the state pass on important infrastructure repairs for future city councils and to make decisions because of the burden of taking on additional costs. This model of kicking the can down the road fails every time. In part or in whole, I am committed to making the investments needed to protect our water and our sewer systems and our roads. These are things that impact our lives each day, and we need to make sure that they don't fail us. This coming year presents a mountain of opportunities for us to grow and prosper, but we have to take thoughtful action to, to do what's in best interest of our city. Thank you for allowing me the great responsibility and opportunity to serve you. 13 years ago, I entered this room to watch my mother, Nadia, take the oath of office as mayor. I never thought that one day I would be sitting in this very chair. 13 years ago. <laughs> I'm fortunate to be able to have learned from her and the difficult choices that she, was fa that she faced while leading the city. While my mother is no longer with us, I know that her passion for service and for the city of Millbrae is alive in all of us. I'm honored to be your mayor and embrace the duties and responsibilities of this position. I see great things for us in 2017, and I hope we will all work together to achieve them all. Thank you. Yes, because the mayor didn't. Okay. Uh, we have some uh, dignitaries in the audience uh, tonight, and I'd just like to introduce everyone who's here. First, we have uh, County Supervisor Dave Pine. We have uh, former Millbrae mayor and a representative for uh, Senator Jerry Hill, uh, Mark Hirschman. Uh, we have, as I mentioned, my uh, father, Richard Holliver, the Community College Board. Uh, we have a former mayor of Millbrae, Robert Gottschalk. Former mayor of Millbrae, Dan Quigg. Former Mil mayor of Millbrae, Doris Morse. Uh, former mayor, uh, sorry, uh, no, former uh, city treasurer, Mary Velatressler. And I hope I didn't miss anyone. Diane oh, Diane Pappin, from a city council from the city of San Mateo. <laughs> former uh, school board trustee, Bob Miller. Planning Commissioner uh, Kathy Quigg is with us. And Planning Commissioner Maureen Davis. <laughs> and I hope I didn't miss anyone. Uh, John Kiefer, uh, Commissioner of the Parks and Rec Commission. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Uh, I would now like to open the nominations for the office of Vice Mayor. Uh, Councilmember Lee? Mr. Mayor, I'd like to nominate uh, former Mayor Gina Pappin as Vice Mayor. Okay. Do we have a second? I'd like to second that. Okay. Right. We have a motion from uh, oh. Mayor from Councilmember Lee. Wait, I beat him. Okay. Um, motion from uh, Councilmember Leva and a, a second from Councilmember Lee. You have your votes, please. Huh? Uh, see, now you're going to deal with that one. <laughs> 
and the nomination is unanimous. Oh, okay, thank you. I knew you were my friend. Uh, um, I'd like to have my sister Diane Pappen from the City Council in San Mateo to swear me in. <laughs> my favorite sister, the only one. Uh, <laughs> okay. Does he hand help? Who doesn't? It's usually not Who a doesn't? problem. <laughs> we on? You can hear me? Okay, great. So I, Gina Pavin. I, Gina Pavin. Do you solemnly swear that I will? Do you solemnly swear that I will? Support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear truth, faith, and True faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States. And to the Constitution of the State of California. And to the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely. Mm -hmm. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Uh, without any mental reservation. <laughs> or a purpose of evasion. Or a purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And I, that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which I am about to enter. Discharge the duties upon which I am about to enter. Congratulations. Just for the record, who's older? Eighteen months, I think. <laughs> yeah. I will say I am older than Ruben. Thank you. <laughs> um, I really have no comments. Um, I look forward to working with our new mayor and the entire council and also the residents of Milbury. Thank you. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Any other comments from uh, the council? Council Member Lee? Councilman Schneider? I have comments both to the former mayor and the new mayor. Um, in my one year of being on council, it's been a pretty, um, pretty hectic and very busy and productive year. Uh, our, my first two council meetings under mayor, former mayor, um, Oliva went till after midnight, but we got the, uh, you helped us get the job done and we have an exciting future for Millbury. So I thank you for that. And until you've been up here, you don't realize that you're now responsible for a city. So you got us through the burning of the, the community center, which was very painful and you did it with great grace. And I thank you for that. To the new mayor, I wish you the best of luck. I have watched you in the one year. I, I enjoy your diligence and your ability to try to find the best common ground and the best solution for the people of Millbrae. And to the rest of the council, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm truly looking forward to that. And to the rest of the council, I look forward to a very productive year. I think we're gonna have a great 2017. Uh, and I look forward to working with everyone. Congratulations, good luck, and thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your kind words. Okay, um, in just a moment, we will be going up to the Chikuti room for a reception, but first uh, we have uh, public communication. This is the time to comment on any item not on this evening's agenda. Uh, you have up to three minutes to speak. And at this time, we have one speaker slip, uh, John Berlier. I would like to dedicate my time tonight to those who lost their lives in the fire over in Oakland. Two years ago, in October, October the 31st, I read this letter to you in its entirety. I'm gonna cut it short because we, I only have three minutes. But first I chided the city council on their satellite parking. And then I went into this. This is for the Taiwu restaurant. Because of what some may think is patchwork parking plan, 
I fear that your fire prevention, fire escape, alarm system, and lighting plan may be suspect. I've asked the city council to research the two worst fires in U.S. history. We learned our lesson in 1903 in Chicago when the Iroquois Theater fire killed more than 600 people. Mistakes were made. Fire regulations were ignored. Materials substituted. Ignorance prevailed over heroism. New fire codes were written. And we would never, never let that happen again, but it did. In 1942, the Coconut Grove nightclub caught fire. And in little more than 10 minutes, 492 people were killed. Same reasons. The patrons of these businesses trusted the owners, the builders, the inspectors, and the fire marshals with their lives. It's okay, you can go in, it's safe, was the unspoken, the tacit. And now I ask you to direct your fire marshal to explore the following partial list of fire regulations that may apply to the Taiwu restaurant and report to you that they have been addressed. I compiled this list in a short period of time, and there are many more. Is there a gas detective, detective, detection system, a smoke control system, an automatic gas control closure, duct smoke detectors, audible and visual alarms? Are there enclosed stairways? I'm not going to read the entire list. I won't have time. I will run out of time here. I will read this one. Are there clearly delineated exits with independent electric light sources so that can be, they can be seen in the dark? And to clearly light the route of travel at each exit. There are hundreds more. Those involved in the planning, building, and remodeling and inspecting have worked in close harmony in the expensive, aggressive promise of fire safety for the patrons of any business in Millbrae. It is their responsibility and their sworn duty. Other than in nature, I don't believe in accidents. I thoroughly believe, however, in ignorance and stupidity. They aren't the same. When they combine in the perfect storm, enabling some to call it an accident. Thank you. Uh, I, I will ask for a couple of more minutes. I think it's important for the safety, for the fire safety of your, your patrons, of your citizens. Mm -hmm. I think they're deserving. Please wrap up uh, very, very shortly. But. You call time? 30, 30 more seconds, please. I don't need more time. I've made my point. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next uh, speaker, Clarice Veloso. Good evening, everyone. My name is Clarice Veloso, and I'm the development director for HIP Housing. Uh, on behalf of HIP Housing, I would like to thank the Honorable Mayor and the members of the City of Millbrae and the Council for your continued support of our organization. The need for affordable housing in our community is dire. Uh, the average one-bedroom apartment in Millbrae is now over $2,600 a month. Uh, HIP Housing specializes in providing creative affordable housing solutions to nearly 1,400 individuals each year, and we would not be able to accomplish this without your support. So this year alone, we've served 53 Millbrae residents. We've matched 30 residents uh, in home sharing. Um, in the last few years, I was here to present a token of our appreciation, and I'm here again to do that as a reminder of our partnership throughout the year, the new HIP Housing uh, 2017 calendar. Uh, this is the 15th calendar of HIP Housing uh, that we've created, and it's filled with information uh, about the organization and our affordable housing programs and children's artwork um, from students all around the county 
including the city of Millbrae, uh, the children were asked to draw a picture of a house and explain uh, what home means to them. So I'm sure you're, you'll enjoy the calendars. Thank you again for your support and partnership and have a good evening. Thank you. And uh, as I mentioned, we have res uh, refreshments upstairs at the Chikuti Room. Uh, thank you. So please uh, come and join us upstairs. And thank you all for being here and look forward to a wonderful. Tw oh, do we have another comment? No? And please uh, fill out a speaker slip after uh, making your comments. Thank you very much. Uh, congratulations, Mayor Holliver. I'm so delighted to see you sitting up there and, and honoring your mother. I'm sure you'll do as wonderful a job as she did. Thank you, Mayor Oliva. You did a wonderful job. And congratulations to you, Mayor Pappen, Vice Mayor Pappen, and all the other people. My, my purpose of coming up here, not only to say congratulations to you, but uh, there's a city mandate, state mandate, federal mandate for handicapped people. I, at this point, thank God, don't need it. But in coming through the doors of both sides of this city hall, there is no disability access. I watched a lady struggle to get into the door to pay her water bill a couple of months ago. I mentioned it to the finance department to have it looked into and nothing was done, of course. So I'm mentioning it again now to the city council. We do not have disabled access to your doors. You need to have a push button. If people want to come in with a wheelchair, they could not. And watching that lady struggle to pull open that door, you know, it's not good. You also only have one handicapped parking lot. This is a city hall. You should have two or three or even more. There's one handicapped thing. This is not in compliance. City of Millbrae is a great city. I've lived here since 1953, very proud of it. And I think we need to get updated. Instead of spending the money painting the sidewalks, spend the money fixing the doors. Thank you very much. Thank you. So now, uh, unless there's any more comments, I'd like to adjourn the meeting. Uh, we have a reception upstairs, as I mentioned, in the Chikuti Room, so I look forward to seeing you all there. Thank you very much. Happy holidays. You're watching MCTV, Millbrae Community Television, Comcast Channel 27, AT&T UVerse Channel 99, and streaming live at www.mctv.tv.